Smile and learn. Hello, friends. Today we are going to learn about long division. But before we start, do you remember how to divide? I'm sure you do. To divide is to split an amount into equal parts. Awesome! When we divide a quantity, that number is called the dividend, while the number that we divide it by is called the divisor. That is, in division, we divide the dividend by the divisor. Let's look at an example. Let's divide 125 by 5, where 125 is the dividend and 5 is the divisor. When dividing, we need to know the multiplication tables very well as they are essential for long division. Do you remember them? Imagine that we want to put 125 astronauts into five spaceships. How will we know how many astronauts will go in each spaceship? Let's solve the operation. We can use long division to easily divide 125 by 5. Let's take a step-by-step -step look at how to do this. To start long division, we have to see how many digits of the dividend we have to use. The rule is that the number of the dividend we are going to divide has to be equal to or greater than the number of the divisor. In this case, the 1 in 125 is less than 5, so we have to choose the next number in the dividend to do the division. This means we will use the number 12. Now we have to mentally calculate which number multiplied by the divisor is closest to the dividend. Which number multiplied by 5 gives us 12 or less? 2! Indeed! 2 times 5 equals 10. We cannot use 3 because if we multiply it by 5, it gives us 15, which is bigger than the dividend. And if we use 1, it is too small and there is another one that is closer. So we write down 2 above the box and put the multiplication below the dividend. In our case, 10 under 12 and subtract. In this case, the subtraction of 12 minus 10 gives us 2. So we write the result below. Now we bring the next number down from the dividend to get 25, which we will again divide by 5. What number multiplied by 5 gives us 25 or is very close? 5! Great job! We write it down next to the 2 above the division box. As 5 times 5 is 25, we write it down under the first 25 and subtract. 25 minus 25, 0! Exactly. That means the remainder of this division is zero. This means that if we divide 125 by 5, we get 25. We know this because we have no more numbers left to bring down from the dividend. So we're done. The result is also called the quotient of the division. That is, the number of astronauts that each ship gets. In this case, we will put 25 astronauts into each spaceship. When we don't have any more numbers left to divide, we arrive at the remainder. If the remainder of the division is equal to zero, it is said to be an exact division. This means we are able to equally divide the dividend by the divisor without any numbers left over. When the remainder is not zero, we have leftover numbers after dividing the dividend by the divisor. This is called inexact division. That's all for today! You've been super attentive! You'll see how easy it is for you to divide from now on! See you in the next class! We've learned so much in just one video! Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn! Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time!